Hello everyone, Gent here, Golden State Times, and today we have a new story courtesy of The Atlantic. And the title says, Terry McAuliffe's second try at restoring felon voting rights. The article goes on to say that in late April, Virginia Governor Terry McAuliffe announced to great fanfare that he will be restoring voting rights to over 200,000 felons who had been stripped of that right when they went to prison. The move won McAuliffe, a Democrat, praise from the social justice advocates. But it inspired an immediate backlash from Republicans in the Commonwealth who vowed to block the move. In July, the Virginia Supreme Court sided with the GOP, ruling at a 4-3 margin that while the governor had the ability to grant clemency to felons, including restoring voting rights, he did not have the power to do it in mass. Such decisions can only be made on a case-by-case basis. This is all according to Chief Justice Donald Lemons. And he wrote, quote, Never before have any of the prior 71 Virginia governors issued a, a Sue's opponent clemency order of any kind. Whether to restore civil rights or grant a pardon to an entire class of unnamed felons without regards to the nature of the crimes or any other individual circumstances rele- uh, relevant to the request. It also goes to say that at no point in the history of the Commonwealth that any governor has ever asserted the power to issue such an order. McAuliffe, a man known for his promises, prays that he will find a way to restore voting rights anyways, using an auto pen to sign individual orders for all 200,000 felons within two weeks. Time went by with no news, But this Monday, McAuliffe held a news conference in Richmond, Virginia to announce that he had ordered a restoration of voting rights to 13,000 felons who had already registered to vote prior to the state Supreme Court order. And that he had ordered that they be returned their voting rolls. It is said that the small number of ex-felons who registered to vote immediately, less than 7% of the 200,000 people eligible for reinstatement, suggests that the electoral impact might not be that great. But anyway, McAuliffe said that he will process documents to give the remainder of the 200,000 their voting rights as well. So yeah, guys, it looks like this is the Hillary Clinton political machine hard at work trying to steal the nomination. This, these are the kind of dirty tricks that the left does. And if Donald Trump does not open this wide open, if he doesn't just grab this and just rip it wide open, he could lose the presidency he has to go on this and go on this hard this is a very very dangerous situation they are restoring rights to people that have no right to vote they're felons just like felons are not allowed to have weapons they shouldn't be allowed to vote they lost that right when they went to prison We're not talking about just regular misdemeanor. No, we're talking about felons, hard criminals. But like I said, this is the political, the Clinton political machine hard at work right here. But let us know what you guys think. And uh, express yourselves in the comment section below. Let us know what you guys are thinking. And like always, like this video, share this video, subscribe if you are new. Uh, Make sure you go to our main channel and put the notifications for all our future Trump rallies so you know when we are live. If you missed any of the old Trump rallies, they are up on our channel. Um, Along with all of our other news videos, make sure you you go and check those out too. 
Uh, make sure to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and if you're feeling generous, contribute. There's a link in the description below. But yeah, guys, until next time, have a good one. Peace.